Hello, good morning everyone. Today we will see the disinfection of the unit. What do you mean by the disinfection? Let us see. Disinfection means the solution which we are using that will kill the bacteria and microorganisms. So here the definition is the disinfection defined as the agent or solution used to kill or destroy the growth of the microorganism. Disinfectant are the agent that free from infection. The term is usually applied to a chemical or physical agent kills vegetatis, vegetative form of the microorganism. Here we have a common disinfectant which we are using in the hospital or as well as in our homes also. First one is the Dettol. Dettol 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 1000 strength. That means 1000 ml of water, 1 ml is Dettol we are using that. Then comes the hibidens that is 1 is to 100 strength. You saw sodium hypochlorite 1 is to 80 strength. That is the 1 ml is all we will use and 80 ml of water is there. Then lysol, lysol is the chrysol and soap solution. That is 1 is to 40 strength. In, in that mean 40 uh, ml is water and 1 ml is lysol. And Savillon there is 1 is to 20 ml. 20 ml of water and 1 ml of Savillon we are using. Then phenol. Phenol is a carbolic lotion which we are using especially in a operation theatre. 1 is to 10 to 1 is to 20 is there. Then formalin. Formalin that is a formaldehyde. That is 50 gram per liter of the water. Uh, one liter in the in the one liter of water we are using formalin 50 gram for the fumigation. Then comes the betadine. Betadine is the one is to 40 strength. If the 40 ml of water there should be pour the one ml of betadine. Then comes the H2O2. Um, H2O2 librates uh, one is to 80 strength. Then. Uh, Dilution uh, formula is the volume of stock solution to be used. Then formula is uh, strength of lo lotion required, strength of stock solution into volume of the solution required. Then comes the responsibility of the nursing personnel. What is the responsibility when we are using this disinfectant? That is the to delegate to delegate the responsibility to the others to supervise the ward cleanliness to provide the adequate supplies for the cleaning to make the patient environment safe to replace to to replace or repair the damages articles and to keep the environment pleasant to promote the comfort of the patient and to maintain the unit attractive and free from physical, chemical and biological hazards. Then comes the environment setting. Uh, in environment setting, we have to see uh, so many points are here. Atmospheric temperature of the 20 to 22 degree centigrade is considered as a comfortable. Because if more than uh, 22 or more than 30 is there, that means there is a so much heat and patient may feel so heated. Second one is the humidity of 40 to 60 percent is more suitable. The room should be well ventilated. Adequate and artificial light should be provided. If no light is there, there should be artificial light. That means the window and uh, door should be like that. The artificial light can come inside. The noise should be minimum as in interference with the rest and sleep of the patient. When patient is sleeping, if so much noise is there, patient can't sleep. It is an interference of the patient's sleep. Then comes the eliminate unpleasant order by the maintaining of proper cleanliness. If we will clean or, or cleanliness should be maintained every day, then there will be a no bad orders is there. Order means a smell, bad smell. Provide a provision for a good water supply. Sewage system must be in working order and keep the ward neat and proper arrangement. So this was the disinfectant. When we are using disinfectant, or we are, we are prepared, uh, prepared, uh, preparing the solution, we should be remember the formula always that is the strength of the solution 
strength of the stock uh, stock solution into volume of the solution required then uh, i think you like this points then one more point is there the optimal environment for the patient if patient is there in the hospital we have to provide a good environment so there are a few factors which are considered essential to well being of the patient adequate lighting during the day and night time then provision of an atmosphere temperature and humidity that promote the normal body functions if so much temperature is there humidity is there patient can't stay there then sufficient air movement to evaporate sweat and fever vascular changes within the skin then atmospheric pressures within man's tolerance provision of the disposal of refuse on excreta removal of the dust injurious chemical and pathogenic bacteria from the atmospheric air then comes the reasonable cleanliness of all surface and furnishing that the individuals is likely to handle a dwelling place free from insect animal spect fires hazards mechanical injuries and electric shocks radiation and poisons free from disagreeable odors and noise harmony of town and design in the immediate surroundings provision of the privacy etc so this was the optimal environment for the patient when the patient is coming to the hospital we have to provide a optimal environment that is the free from uh, any kind of problem and we have to provide a proper light adequate light and free from dust uh, injuries chemicals everything and we have to uh, keep a patient in dwelling place free from the insect where the patient can be in peacefully can sleep and can take a rest then free from de agreeable odors also if the bad odor is there patient can't stay in that room so i think you like this video if you like it get something please support it okay bye bye